Good morning, good morning, good morning, blooms, buds, and butterflies. Good morning, everyone. So today is Wednesday already. Can you guys believe it? It's already Wednesday. We're already at hump day. We're already at the center of another week. This is actually the last Wednesday of this month. Like, this is so mind-blowing for me. Like, I can't even believe it. Let me turn my light. Let's just see if that helps. Okay, it's a little bit better. So I am, like, so mind-blowing at the fact that it's already the last Wednesday of October. Oh, my goodness, guys. I can't believe it. So Today we're going to be talking about biohacking your mindset and because our new holiday products, not all of them, some of them will be releasing on Tuesday, November 1st, we're going to start breaking down some of our new um, products for the holidays. So our Christmas slash holiday products, so we're going to be talking about those today too. So we're going to break one and down for the next 16 days. Okay, so we'll do one today, one tomorrow, so on and so forth. So um, we're going to go ahead and do that as well. So on the weekends, when it comes to breaking down the products, it's just going to be a blurpy like usual and the product will be in there. So we're going to be talking about biohacking your mindset today. And we're going to talk about one of our new holiday products or items that are coming out. Uh, some of these, like I said, are coming out starting November 1st. Some of them won't come out until later on in November. Some don't come out till December. So I actually put down the list of when everything comes out yesterday in the group. So if you guys didn't get a chance to check that out, you can always look for it. I will pin it to the top of the page today when I'm done with all the videos. And then here at a little after, about probably, it's going to take us a few minutes to get through this because I'm running a little late today. So then after this, we're going to take a five minute break and then we'll be back on to start getting ready to prepare for our essential living for balanced, healthy life. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the biohacking. So biohacking for your mindset. So, sorry, every time I go live, it's when people want to call me. Okay, so you know, um, you know the phrase, right? You are what you eat, right? We've all heard this phrase. Yes, no, maybe so. I'm sure we've all heard it a million times. So what if we change that to you are what you think, okay? So instead of you are what you eat, let's try you are what you think, okay? What do you guys think about that? Yes, no, maybe so. If you're saying anything and I'm not commenting to you, I'm not seeing comments again. I don't know why it is that like every other video I see comments. I don't get positive thinking, intentional setting, intention setting, sorry. Speaking affirmations to yourself are making a huge seen in the last few decades so if you guys have noticed like all this stuff has like been happening it's been lots of people who are doing it it's like this big huge thing a lot of people say it's a fad well guess what it's not really a fad so if you are consistently talking down yourself your brain holds that okay so it'll actually hold it and then over time actually believe it so if you're telling yourself i can't make it in my business your brain is going to believe it it's going to hold you back you're not going to do it if you say i cannot you know pass this test you're going to not pass the test all right simple as that so start feeding your brain positive thinking okay so start with affirmations for example if you do not have a good body image okay so if you don't like the way you look pick out one thing that you do love about yourself and repeat it out loud so maybe you don't care for your belly but maybe you love your own eyes okay so something like that all right and then you want to do this about 10 to 15 times in the mirror with confidence and love. All right. So this is how you're going to do, how you're going to beat your brain. We got to redo our brains, guys. We got to hack our brains. So roll. Um, so another thing you can do is you can roll on some rose touch. Okay. Um, the high vibrational oil over your heart. So you put this over your heart and then say your affirmations to yourself. This can actually entice the feeling that you're actually going to do the information. Now, some of you guys may or may not have tried affirmations. Has anyone ever tried an affirmation? Yes. No, maybe so. So now some of you may be saying to yourselves, yeah, right, Janet, you're funny. This is not going to work. Okay. So here's what I want y'all to do. Okay. I want you to stand up. Okay. Stand up. And I want you to take one of your arms. I don't care if it's your right arm or your left arm. I don't care which one it is. All right. I want you to put your arm straight out like this in front of you. Okay. Put it straight out in front of you, just like I am mine right now. Okay. Straight, as straight in front of you as you can. Now I want you to take your arm and I want you to twist without actually, I can't stand up to do this. Um, actually, let me see if I can, let me see if I can stand up and do this with you guys. Let me move the cameras, see if maybe this will work. I think I got to move two cameras, guys. Not sure how this looks on Zoom. Give me a second to check Zoom really quick. All right, so this will work. All right, guys, so I'm a little crooked on this one. I'm sorry, I apologize. All right, so I want you to stand up. I want you to, let me tuck in anything that I might get caught on doing this. All right, 
I want you to stand up and I want you to take your arm and stand it out as straight as you can, right? Now, without moving your body too far, without like totally like, you know, I want you to take your arm and I want you to go and twist back as far as you can without hurting yourself. Stop right where you can't go any further, okay? Stop. All right, now I want you to look at where your arm is and I want you to remember this, okay? Open your eyes and remember this, all right? You see where it is? Now I want you to bring your arm back to the beginning. All right, now what I want you to do is close your eyes for a moment. I want you to imagine in your mind, okay? Imagine in your mind, I gotta step forward because I know what's gonna happen when I do this. I want you to imagine that your spine is not your spine. It is made of jelly. It will move wherever you want it to go. Okay, I want you guys to picture this. Tell yourself, you are made of gumby material. You are really gumby. You are really, really moldable. You can bend as far as you need, okay? Now I want you to do the same thing. I want you to take your arm, think that, take yourself, spin yourself again, and go how far back can you go this time? And look at how far I went back. You can actually see my arm. Does anyone else see that? Okay, open your eyes, see how far back you went that time. Did you go further than you did the first time? Yes, no, maybe so. I can't see the comments, but I will enjoy reading them after this. So let me know. Did you go, but were you able to twist further? I was, you guys can see it. When you guys watch the video on replay, okay, the first time I went, I only went to about here and you couldn't even see my other arm, right? But then when I came back and I imagined to myself that I was made of gumby material, I was not, I had nothing holding me back. My spine wasn't going to stop me. I was very, very pliable, very movable, and I did the same thing. I went back way further, see? So it works. So mindset is a huge thing, and mindset works. All right, so let me turn these cameras back. Sorry for all the moving yes. Hopefully nobody got motion sick with all the moving around. If you were not able to do this now, that's fine. You can always try it later and just let us know, did you go further the second time? After you told yourself, you got rid of all your limiting beliefs. You told yourself, Yes, you were able to go back further. Yes, exactly. Hey, I was actually able to see the comment. Yes, Algenia said she'd go back further. So that is a little exercise. No motion sickness. Yay. Okay. So that's a little motion, motion size exercise to show you guys mindset is huge. So if you believe you cannot do something or if you believe something will not happen for you, it will not happen. Okay. So that is actually the best way I could think to even show you how to do this. Yes, now I'm seeing comments. All of a sudden, I'm able to see them. I don't know what it was. It's so weird. So, but yeah, so hopefully all of you guys were able to go further that second time, right? So um, we are going to go into, I'm going to, I'm going to post a cute little thing um, on the page about mindset. And now we're going to talk really quick. Amazing. Not all of them, but one of our amazing Christmas items. So hopefully that exercise helped you. If you guys ever, ever, ever find someone who doubts themselves or says, this is never going to work for me or I can't do this, have them do that exercise. It'll make them see that it's all about your mind. Once you guys told yourselves that your spine was not there, it was not going to stop you. It, you're made of like gumby material. You're like all jello. You were able to go further because you told yourself to actually do it. So this is what needs to happen. Yes. Many, many people are self-doubters. Should I do this exercise in my personal profile? Um, I haven't decided for sure yet, but I might actually do it on my personal profile um, to help other people with mine. To hear about one, I did so a picture I do um, with other things. It's just another time. The reason why something didn't work out, I did is the best I did for this one. All right, guys. So I'm excited for all of them. So some of you guys, and if you didn't check your email last night, I'll be sending it out in text message this morning. But last night, um, kind of latish around, I don't know, it was like 7.30, 8 o'clock, somewhere in there. I sent out an email that has all of the upcoming events and classes for the rest of the year. <laughs> so it has October, which we don't have anything really happening in October. Really, one more thing, I think, not even. We have like an ending of a sign-up. It has all of everything happening in November and everything happening in December. Right now, we have officially started for anyone who is new to me or any of my businesses. This was something I started when I did paparazzi. And I carried it over when I came to doTERRA. I do what is called a for Toys for Tots. That started officially last night. Um, that will go on until December 15th. Or sorry, no. It'll go on until December 1st. And then on December 15th is when I will send in all the donations. I take a picture of what we donate. I post it. So I've done this. This is my fourth year. I started, like I said, I started with paparazzi. Um, the paparazzi, what I did was I would donate $1 of every item sold. 
um, now I take it as a donation because some people don't want to actually, you know, don't buy the product. So you can either do a donation on my website. Um, all right, cool. So um, I take a donation on the website. I also donate as well. I usually try to either do 50% or 100% of what you guys donate. I match it. And then we send the donation in. So that is something that started last night. So that is going on. You can do it right online. There are options. You can either choose a preset donation amount or you can do your own. So the lowest one that's preset is $10, but you can do um, your own. There's a spot there. It says zero. You can click in there and you can put in whatever amount you want to donate. So anything helps is to help children. If you're not sure what Toys for Tots is, Toys for Tots is a toy fun drive that the United States Marine, yeah, Marine Corps made that helps children who are less fortunate to have Christmas. So I want, I always want to, like, we have like a local um, fundraiser that we do here. It's called the Arctic League that we do for like our local children. But I want to make sure because I have customers all over the United States. I can even have customers all over the world. I wanted to make sure that I was donating to something that I am highly, um, I highly support the, the Marine Corps. Um, I actually, I actually am um, um, friends with a lot of Marines. Um, so I actually am really big into su supporting that. And I wanted to support children at Christmas time because there's a time in my life when I used our local charity, which is called Arctic League. I used them to make sure my children had Christmas because I couldn't always give them a lot when they were younger and stuff. So I always like to give back. So I chose uh, Toys for Tots because Toys for Tots, I donate online and it goes to children all over the country. Okay, so anyone in the United States. So um, it's something that actually benefits more children than just my local area. So that's why I chose Toys for Tots. So you can go right onto um, my, my actual website and there's a spot where you can donate right on there. We are also kicking off. Um, we also are doing some more things the rest of the month. So we have what I'm starting to talk about. Sorry, someone's trying to call me again. Sorry, I'm all wiggly. So I started to talk about besides Toys for Tots. I want to explain that in case people didn't know what Toys for Tots was because I've heard that when I did it for paparazzi. I heard a lot of people say, well, what's Toys for Tots? So I explained what it was. So Another thing we're going to be doing in November in time for Thanksgiving is I am going to be doing an essential oils cooking class. Okay. So you can sign up for that. It is $10 for the class. You can break it up into payments if you have to, you have time to get the money. But however, the reason why I wanted to mention the cooking class is because exactly. Yes. They've been around for a very long time and they're very reputable. Yes. And that was the thing I wanted to choose something that was not just my local area and I wanted to choose something that has been very reputable um that you'll see is usually you see a picture of the little toy teddy bear he's wearing a marine corps uniform and then he's got a train in front of him that says toys for tots the actual picture is actually on the website just like that so like I said all proceeds that you guys donate to that go into a separate on a separate card that's not it doesn't stay on my square card because my square card um takes payments for everything. So I transfer all that money to a separate card that is just an account I have just for this reason. And then when the time comes, then I make the payment with that card. And I always take a picture of the um, donation to show you guys I did the donation. And then when we get our letter, because we always get a letter thanking us from Toys for Tots, I always take a picture or I scan that letter into. So it really does. I'll go to Toys for Tots. I promise you, I don't keep any of the money at all. Um, so it does all go. And like I said, this is my fourth year doing it. When I, like I said, when I sold paparazzi, um, if it was adults, $5 items I sold, I donated $1 for each item. If it was, um, a Z piece, which are $25, I, I donated $5 of that. And if it was a kid's item, when they used to have kids items, which were a dollar, I donated 50 cents. I donated half of my kids item amounts to it. So, um, that was how I did it then. Now I, and then I also took donations as well because some people didn't want the jewelry. They just wanted to help. So they would just give the donation to help the cause. So now I do it as donations. And then I match, I either do 50% or hundred percent of the match, depending on what it is, because if it's under a hundred dollars by the end, I will make sure it hits at least a hundred dollars. We've never donated less than a hundred dollars at all. So yes, phenomenal. Yes. So we have never donated less than a hundred dollars ever. Okay. So um, I always make sure we have at least $100 when we donate, no matter what it is. If we have more than that, then I will either match it or I'll 50% match it. And I always do my, because I always do my own personal donation on top of that. So, all right. So back to what we were talking about. So with the, the reason why I was talking about the kitchen, the cooking class that we're going to be doing, okay, which is going to be, a, you're going to get a class, you're going to be able to get a cookbook. There's all kinds of things involved for the $10, just so you guys know. So why I was talking about that first is because the first 
thing we're going to talk about, what we're going to talk about today is our cuisine collection plus singles. Okay. So every year we sell out of this super, super fast. All right. So who doesn't love to cook with their doTERRA essential oils? If you don't know how to cook with them, that's fine because we're going to have a class. Okay. We are actually having that class on, I can tell you the date because I have it in my book here. We're actually having the cooking class pardon me, on November 14th, it's a Monday. So all my classes will be on Mondays. Um, my classes and events will be on Mondays at seven o'clock because my husband's gone to the fire department at seven, from seven to eight o'clock, he's at the fire department. So it just works out really good for me because I'm not losing time with my husband and my son because my son's usually with his friend. My husband's at the fire department and I can be in here with you guys. So uh, Monday the 14th, if you guys want to write that down, you guys should have gotten emails. I'm going to also, I'll also post it in the group. Uh, but Monday the 14th is our, at 7 p.m. Eastern time, is our essential oils cooking class. It's $10. Now, if you can't, you want to join the class, but you can't watch the actual class, you can always, um, haven't tried cooking with them yet. Looking forward to it. Yay! So if you can't physically be at the class at the time the class is on, the classes are all recorded. So you can always, um, Pay the $10, get the class recorded, sent to you in an email, and then you can still get your cookbook and everything. So just so you guys know, there are options in case you can't. So I don't want people to be like, well, I couldn't watch it live, so I didn't join the class, even though I really want to join the class because I don't know when I'm going to do the class again. So if you want the class, but maybe you got something going on at that time, you guys can always still register, pay the $10. If you're not there, you're on a list, and I'll just email you the the recording after it's over. Okay. So it's not a big deal. All right. So the 2022 cuisine co collection makes it makes, yeah, makes that so much easier and flavorful. So it includes three of our past cooking blends. Yes. Family time is absolutely important. So, so three of our past cooking blends that we've had for a long time. First one is our Italian blend. This is a blend. So it's already in a bottle. It's a bottle like this. It's got all of your oils in it. You just add this if you're making something Italian, okay? So this has a blend of thyme, rosemary, basil, marjoram, and oregano all in one bottle, okay? It's the Italian blend. The next one we have, if people like some Mexican type stuff, is we have our Mexican blend. So this is a blend of lime, cumin, black pepper, cilantro, and Parmesan. Or I said Parmesan. Wow, I'm making myself hungry. No, marjoram. We don't have Parmesan essential oil. Marjoram essential oil. So Mexican, I'll do that again, is a blend with lime, cumin, black pepper, cilantro, and marjoram. <laughs> I got rid of that Italian word. I also started thinking about having either spaghetti or having um having spaghetti or having goulash and having Parmesan cheese on there all of a sudden. Whew, that Italian blend made me hungry. And then the next one is our tropical blend. Okay. So our tropical blend is a blend of wild orange, lemon, lime, grapefruit, green mandarin, bergamot, yuza, and ylang ylang. Yes. The Mexican one does sound a little spicy, but I think I would like the Mexican one. Like if I was making like Spanish rice, or if I was making, I don't, we don't, I love tacos. My son and I love tacos. My boys, I should say even Aiden when he comes home from college, love tacos. My husband's not a big fan of tacos. So I usually will make enchiladas instead. So I think doing a little bit of that in the salsa sauce that I make with my enchiladas would probably be amazing though. And then this year we are adding one new blend, one new blend. Okay. And that new blend is called our Thai cooking blend it is made with coriander, galania, and I have no idea what that is, cumin, lemongrass, spearmint, shafa lime, ginger, basil, and pink pepper. So we have a new one. Yeah, I love tacos. Christian loves tacos. Aiden loves tacos. Kevin's not a fan of tacos. It is funny because me and Kevin have been together. Let's see. Christian is 16. So we've been together for 17 years. It'll be 18 years we've been together in January. And he just told me, okay? He just, just told me in, I want to say like, had to have been August? July or August that he doesn't like tacos. He's ate them this whole time. Never said a word. 
just like I used to make, um, I used to make this sausage, pepper and onion bake and he would eat it. No problem. Never said a word. And then one day he told me, I think it was like June. He told me that cooked peppers and cooked onions are disgusting. But yet when I make sausage and I cook peppers and onions to go with the sausage, he eats the peppers and onions. I don't understand it. <laughs> All right. So anyways, the Thai one sounds amazing as well. So this is a perfect gift for the chef in your life or double up and get a gift for yourself. So you can get this. It comes in a cute little set. I will, I'll put pictures up. Yeah, exactly. It took him like forever. I don't know if maybe it just changed and he just started to not like it all of a sudden or what, but it was craziness. Crazy, crazy. He, he's done that with me with a couple different things. And I'm like, why didn't you just tell me? He's like, well, I'll eat it just because I don't like it because everyone else likes it. I said, but if you tell me, then I would make you something small on the side. It's like, he doesn't like stuffed peppers. He likes the insides of stuffed peppers, but he doesn't like to cook peppers. So like, now that I know that, I will, um, when I make stuffed peppers for myself and Christian and Aiden, or if Aiden's at school, when it's just me and Christian, if I make a couple stuffed peppers for us, I'll make just the filling in the side in a pan for him. You know what he'll do? He will go to one of the stuffed peppers because I'll make enough to have like leftovers for lunch the next day. He'll go up to a stuffed pepper, dump out the insides with a pan next to it of all the innard stuff. He'll dump out the insides and put the freaking pepper back on the damn plate or pan. It's like, dude, that's what all that extra inside stuff was for. It was for you. And now I have to use that to stuff another pepper and then in, put it in the microwave the next day to get the cheese to melt. It's like, oh my goodness gracious, dude. Like I made you that on the side. Anyways, I'm getting on a tangent here. Okay. So anyways, so the cuisine collection plus singles, like I said, is a perfect gift for anyone who likes to cook. So I think I'm actually going to buy one of these for my stepdad because my stepdad loves to cook. And every single year I get him something for cooking. I get him and my mom flavored coffees because they drink coffee and they like the flavor coffees. And I found a really good company for that. I actually get all my tea through that company. Um, so my mom and my dad um, like to cook things and my dad makes all different stuff. So I might actually get him one of these little gift sets for, for, for him for Christmas. So, uh, so each of the blends are available for individual purchase as well. So you can buy this in the entire kit or if you only like certain ones. So say maybe... The Mexican sounded too spicy for you, but the Italian sounded perfect. You can buy just the Italian. You don't have to get the entire kit. I think for my dad, my stepdad, I'm going to buy the entire kit for him. And that's what I think I'm going to do. But um, so you let your taste buds lead the way with this. So let's see, never made stuffed peppers before. However, I'm going to, I do not like peppers either. I'll make me a veggie on the side. There you go. That works. See, I don't eat the stuffed peppers as my veggie, though. Like, I still have another veggie. I like the stuffed peppers because I like I like cooked peppers. Like, I, I just love peppers. I will eat, as long as they're not hot peppers. I will eat peppers whether they are, um, I'll eat peppers whether they are cooked or they are raw. I will eat peppers. I just like peppers. Like, I just, I love the first one. Um, what will happen is I will have the Saturday and Sunday in the email like I always do, and then I will have a blurpy about the um, product and on the group I'll do the same thing I will have the excuse me the daily education and then we'll also have the blurpy about whatever the Christmas product is so neighbor ordered one last year I just couldn't wait for it to come back out because now you're gonna all right you guys here in about five minutes central we'll stop the recording on for zoom because they don't need to hear this part because they don't know the difference in the time